I am not going to lie to you. This is probably the least interesting chapter, but the most critical chapter in what we're going to talk about. Because if you don't get the install right, you're going to have problems forever. Right. So we are here to show you the right way to do it. Bob? Pop the CD in. Up pops a menu. Really easy. Double click, unload the installer. It's going to inflate and magically things will start to appear. Select continue. Of course, we can read everything here. And then we agree to what we've just read. And now we want to perform the standard install. So it goes through and does its own little self ID and checks for the in install and starts doing the install on it. Mm -hmm. And then when this is all done, then we'll do our first launch at DaVinci. Great. Any special tricks in here? That, anything that you people really need to be aware of? Nothing really. Uh, obviously, when you get your software, always go out and look and see if there's a new, new version available or could be at that point in time. And then you'll have to go through and uh, follow the install uh, instructions again. If you do have a previous version, you have to remove the previous, you know, okay. so. And if you've got a oh, light. Actually, no, you don't have to. You can just reinstall. But if you've got a light version uh, and you're installing a paid version. I pulled my light, light version out. I didn't want anything silly happening. There's no reason to hang on to the light version. Sure. And says it's done. Okay. And now we have to go ahead and restart. All right. So the relaunch is over. So now what happens? So now we're going to launch DaVinci for the first time. So I place it on a dock and I'm just going to come here and launch it. And now what's going to happen is this is only going to happen one time. When you launch for the very first time, you're going to have to go through and uh, set some uh, menus here. So now the user login screen comes up. So I'm going to launch the admin user. Now I know from experience, one of the things that you've told me a million times is never use the admin for color correction. Right. And the warning message comes up here telling you the same thing. So the application launches to the user login. Now what do we do? Well, now we need to go and set some preferences. Okay. So we're going to go up to the top, DaVinci Resolve, and then the preference screen is going to load up. And you'll notice that there's nothing in the media storage volumes. And we have to tell it where to go look for media, where to store its cache files, gallery steer, stills. So Similar on the Final Cut Pro to the uh, scratch the disk. Scratch stuff. disk. Yep. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and I'm going to click the plus key. And it's going to ask me, where do I want to go? Well, I'm going to, this will be my first drive that I'll have up there that I'll use for some of my cache frames and that. Then I'm going to put a few more drives up in here where I have media. And so now I have a couple drives up in there and I'm all, all set. The next thing, you have to make sure you have your deck link selected. And at this point in time, if you were using a control panel, you would select it here as well. And then from there, we hit save. And again, changes will only take effect on your next start. So we need to exit this menu. I'm going to say OK and then just exit. And now we'll launch we'll back again. Back to the desktop. At this point in time, we should be able to get into the user. Come back to the user. And now you've always told me, don't color correct in the admin. Right. So I'm going to make my own user here. Okay. Okay. And it's a little plus key down here or plus tab. And it's going to, oh, I have to log on as admin user. I forgot okay. about that. It's been a long time since I've done that. Now my new user is going to type in Bob. And I'm not going to use a password. There's no one's going to steal my stuff. I'm going to say, okay. And there I am. Nice little tie, it isn't it? It looks like you. Doesn't it? When was the last time you wore a tie? Ooh, I don't know. Okay, let's see where we go from here. So here we would just launch your user, and now you're ready to go. So this is where now you would start bringing in your files and you know watching the rest of our video here and following along. Right, and one of the things we want to point out is that you set up those couple of drives that we want to do, including the RAID that we're gonna that the uh, DaVinci Resolve is gonna look to for media and for other things, and for us to be able to see all of the project files from Class On Demand, we need to make sure that those Class On Demand files are on those drives and then Resolve will be able to see them. Right. 